up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. It's a new school year, and my baby, Bella, has gone off to college. I am totally not crying. Sorry for the dramatics. I'm actually handling this quite well. Doesn't she kind of look like my Bella? Totally not obsessing, but seriously. Let's do a little light crafting. I made a quick printable for some 2023 back to school supplies. We have a printable for a Little Mermaid book. Well, Little Mermaid in space. It's a partially original story inspired by some of my favorite things. Since 2023 gave us the new live action Little Mermaid, I thought this would be kind of fun. And this year we also got Barbie the movie. So we made a few inspired printables. And the last page is optional. It is pages to go inside of the notebooks and composition book and loose leaf paper for the folder. In addition to the printables, we will also need cardstock, poster board, or recycled paperboard, and glue. On our Barbie inspired printable, we have a poster and photos from our Instagram. These are pretty easy. We just cut them out, apply a little glue to cardstock or poster board, place the printable on top, cut them out, and I'm leaving a small border around the edge. And they're done. We can place them on the wall in our doll offices and dorm rooms. The sticky notes are also pretty easy. Just cut them out, stack them together, run a glue stick along one of the edges, pushing the glue between the pages, press and hold to make a stack of sticky notes where we can peel them off one at a time to use in the doll room. The notepad is made pretty much the same way. We just cut it out. Only this time we take one of the pages and glue it onto recycled paperboard, cut it out. So I have a nice neutral paperboard on the back, stack and glue the other pages across the top, just like the post-it notes to make a Darby notepad. I am loving our miniature notepad collection. Our tablet from last year featured Bella's drawings of Rainbow High characters. This year, I made a little froggy tube screen. Just cut them out, glue them onto cardstock or poster board, cut them out, and repeat. Then I cover them with clear tape, trim off the excess tape, then glue the front and back together. So when the dolls are not drawing, they can watch a little froggy tube. Let's cut out the paper for the pencils. We're going to use a few round toothpicks and a little paint is optional. Glue the paper around the toothpick. On one toothpick, I can make two mini pencils. Cut just past the eraser. I'm using an X-Acto knife. I use a nail file to sand the pointed end. Add a little pink paint on the end of the eraser. I'm just going to repaint the whole thing so it matches. Then a little touch of black paint for the lead to make a basic little pencil. Now we have Barbie and Rainbow High inspired mini pencils. If we want to add a little variety to the pencils, we can just glue a pom pom on the end. I just used a little bit of tacky glue to attach it and I'm going to add a little nail polish. The polish I'm using has some iridescent flakes in it to give our pencils a little sparkle. We interrupt this crafting session because I have to do a reroute. I've made up my mind. This is going to be my college Bella. We've been using the Skipper Babysitter's Ink Doll for Bella's Mini for a few years. But now that she's 18, she's getting a whole new look. The Dollyverse on Instagram has been telling me for a while that this should be Bella's mini. So today, we're giving her some locks. I'm using a thin black yarn and the head from the Barbie Looks doll number two on a classic made to move body. Let's cut off her hair, getting it down as low as we can. Then it's time for the hot water. I place the doll in a plastic bag 
then into a cup of hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. I use tweezers to remove the hair from the inside. This is going to take a minute. So let's make our Barbie inspired folder. Just cut it out, fold on the lines. I like to cut the corners and I make a small cut on the line at the bottom. Flip it over, glue down the sides and the top, apply a little glue to the colored part of the lower tab, then fold it over and fold it up, creating a pocket. Repeat on the other side to make a folder. Cut out the loose leaf paper from the second page, fold it in half and glue the two sides together to make paper to go in the folders. And of course, you can punch out the holes if you like. When paired with the pencil, this is looking adorable. I tried to get the real Barbie notebook that looks like this design in real life and it was all sold out. So we're totally making inspired ones in miniature. We have two designs for our composition books, including templates for an easy option. Just cut everything out. I made them color coordinated. We can make these with real pages and without. To make them without, just glue the template onto cardstock or poster board, cut it out, and repeat until it is about the same width as the spine. We added some lines on the printable so it's easy to see. Fold on those lines, then glue the stack of cardstock inside to make a neat little miniature composition book for the dollhouse. The second option for this book is to print out the second page, cut out the long strip of composition book pages, fold it accordion style, adding glue behind the pages so the three in the middle are double sided and the ones on the end are still blank. I glue the template to a piece of cardstock for a little extra strength, so I used it to cut a second one, glue them onto the front and the back of the pages, then glue them into the cover to make a little composition book with pages. Our last printables are the spiral notebooks. Just cut them out. We can glue in a stack of cardstock just like before or cut and glue together pages. Use the template to add paperboard to the front and back, then glue it into the cover to make a faux spiral notebook with pages. Completing our Barbie inspired back to school supplies. Back to our little yarn reroute. I thread an embroidery needle with the yarn. Then I push the needle through one of the existing holes and come out through the neck using needle nose pliers if needed. Cut the yarn, tie a knot in the end, then pull it so the knot is on the inside of the head. Cut the end and repeat, adding one yarn lock at a time. I'm going around the hairline, then I begin filling in the rest until I get the look that I want. Place the doll's head back onto the body. Now let's style her hair. I'm gonna pull two locks forward in the front, then pull the rest up into a ponytail. Now that the hair is done, we need that college look, like an oversized hoodie. This is a Barbie Gap hoodie that I bought on Mattel Creations. It was $10. It looks like it can fit a variety of dolls. It has a little bit of stretch. The hood has a working drawstring. There is no opening in the back and it has a real pocket on the front. Here it is on a classic made to move Ken. It did take a little bit of work to get it past the hands. However, it wasn't too bad getting the sweatshirt on a curvy or a classic made to move Barbie body. I paired it with some Barbie style jeans to make this college look for Bella. Aw, she's adorable. Before our mini Bella runs off to class, she is going to need a book. Once again, we have two options, no pages and pages. To make the book without pages, just cut out the template and the cover, glue the template onto a scrap of foam board, then cut it out, then glue the cover around it to make a quick book 
for the bookshelf. If you want to make the book with pages, we have to cut out all of this. I start with the cover and the template, glue the template onto recycled paperboard, cut it out, take the cover and fold on the lines, then glue the paperboard in between the lines, leaving a small space between them, then fold over the tabs and glue them down. Cut out the strips of pages, fold them accordion style, and glue the center pages, leaving the first and last page single on each strip. Then glue them together, then glue them into the cover. To make a miniature book with an actual real original story inside. It's not a great story, but it's a story, so yeah. And now our mini Bella is ready for the first day of college. Thank you for joining us while we made our 2023 back to school supplies. All printables are available to download for free on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. And we made our mini Bella college edition. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! Yeah.